So there was a little hesitation on my part, but uh, ended up building out this stand so that, and, you know, it's it's a decent stand uh, so that we can then spray these newel posts uh, once we get them all taken care of. I'm still seeing little little marks on this one that I need to fix, and I'm going to let these dry. So one of the things I'm going to do. I'll just fix those and this will be a project later on today anyway. So I'm gonna fix those and then we're gonna go over to the condo and start working on that. I did buy a, a railing um, that's eight feet long. So I think I can do this and then also the one up there. Although what I've gotta buy, they only come in 16 foot length now. I have to try to find a 12 foot so they don't have to cut and that's what I'll end up using here. But this is way too long for me to do anything with, uh, that eight foot, because I've gotta lay it in there and get the angle and all that. So um, probably what I'm gonna do is I'll measure from like here to there and probably do a rough cut um, and then bring it back over. So I may run back and forth a couple times, uh, but I, if I bring that newel post in, uh, we'll kind of set it up and take a look at it, at least from that standpoint. We've made it back to the house, and we're gonna take and at least paint two of those newel posts. Um, I need to kind of sand this down a little bit, but uh, I've got a little bit left paint in there, and that's what we're gonna have to do. I think I'm looking for some type of a primer on here, but I'm going to use that as a primer. And these all look like they're coming in well and drying well. So we'll just let this, these things dry. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and we will um, come back to this. I'm going to let this dry quite a bit of time. We'll put that in there. Um, that'll keep that. And, uh, I think this is gonna be good. We're gonna be able to have all of these all the same color. I'm gonna get this measurement here real quick. So I'm gonna make that about 63 inches. So 63. Uh, get the there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring in the newel post and we can take a look at it. Uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to set these things. So let me bring that in. Well, I think what I'm gonna do, first of all, is there's a piece of wood right there. I'm gonna remove that so we can slide that back in there. And then I will have to kind of cut this trim. Um, of that riser to kind of slide it back. 
But what we're going to do is we're looking at 33 to 38 inches is the height. And what we're going to do is I've got 35 and then with that handrail, that'll be another inch and a half, probably so 37. So the way to do this, at least this is what I've seen, is what you do is you take this distance right here. So that's, that's going to be the height. That's where that would be the center of the uh, baluster going up. And then in here, we would measure the center point. And of course, then that's where the baluster would rise there. So the distance between here and here, that's six inches, what needs to come off the bottom. So this will set at the proper height. So that's what we're going to end up doing. We're going to go back to the house to do that. Uh, it is not an easy task to do it, but uh, boy, that's going to look good. But we do need to, let's see if we can take off that front of that for now. Um, and then we'll take it back to the house to cut it. Well, the trials and tribulations of well, the trials and tribulations of working from two different locations. I didn't bring the railing back, so I need to cut that. I'll just take a, a saw and uh, hand saw. Or I'll, eh, you know what, I just take that electric saw, circular saw, and cut the handrail. But it'll have to come back here to take and cut the angle. Although, maybe I'll just take this, put it in the car. Probably be the best thing. I'm taping this up because I don't want the finish to get marred on the, the white. And it did a little bit, but and we'll get it taken care of. So I was really close to being really disappointed because you can see how that is not solid. It kind of made it solid, but um, I'm not going to have anything down, I think, that far. I'll probably have two right up here, so we should be, we should be fine. Uh, if not, I could always carve out some stuff and put it in there, but I think we're going to be good. The newel post is the right height. Um, we're just gonna bag all this up and take it back and let's see what we can do to, to mount this thing. So you put in the, the newel post. Boy, that's gonna look great. Well, I haven't installed it yet. So I need to just get it all kind of straight and set. Make sure everything's uh, plumbed and lined. Drill some holes in the front here glue it in, make sure it's square, and that's going to be nice. And as you can see, I'm keeping this here for now, because I'm afraid, well, we're all afraid that the dogs will jump off of here and use it as a play thing, right? So we're going to go in and I'm going to get some more tools, uh, bring the car in a little bit more, and then we'll put this puppy in. So what I'm doing here is, I'm actually gonna drill four holes, countersink these, far enough. And then we're gonna, uh, I'll drill the rest of the way in here and I'll uh, put some um, lags in here, some pretty long ones.
So here's our lags. We do want to make sure they go in far enough. <laughs> We're gonna have to drill that in quite a bit because these, they need to go really far in there. I sure hope there's wood all the way in there. So, I think I'm gonna have to use your little. You gotta get those in there. I just love to be able to wash them. Let's do this. Let's take and screw this all the way in, get it down, and we'll be able to make it um, solid. And we may have to just take some of these back and kind of grind them down so that they're, they'll go in there. Because we, def we definitely want to have a washer on there. So let's do this. Let's vacuum this up. Uh, I'll take and we'll go back and hit a grinder on this. I've taken the time to grind down these Washers, so we should get them right in. Oh, yeah. yeah, very good, very good. They're gonna go in now. Not gonna have any problems. I uh, need to go out and grab right here. Okay. Thank you, Danny, for helping. Thank you, appreciate it. Appreciate it. If you want to. No, 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 I can't have any help. I can't have any help. Thank you. Okay, go back. Go back and sleep. Go back and sleep. Okay, go on. Come on, go on back. Hey. Okay, I love you. Yes, I do. Oh, I do. So, it's good. So, let's go ahead. Danny, 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 Danny. Danny, come on. Come on, go back. Go back. Go back, Danny. Go. Go. I need to work. I need to work, Danny. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Sometimes. Okay, so we know this isn't going to be perfect, but here's what we're going to do. We are going to, we see where the outline of this is. I'm gonna put a ton of... here and then also around the base and then we'll just bolt this in make sure that it's level do everything that we need to do but we'll put a lot of adhesive on here And 
more the merrier. Even in places we know that it won't stick. I don't want to put too much. I, want to, I mean, I want to put stuff on the base, but the thing is we just have to be kind of cognizant of where it's going to be because I think it may squirt out. Okay, let's take this. I probably should have, you know, pre... I pre-drilled, which that's good, but I probably should have done a little bit more. The new post is in. It is straight, level, doing what it needs to do. It's cut the right height. It is firmly implanted in there. It's gonna get solider as that glue dries, but um, I just need to patch those holes up and they'll be a... What I'm doing is I'm just taking some wood filler, actually making it into a ball, and then stuffing it in here. Okay, so that is in. Let's go up. Take a look at what's going on up here. Um, boy, it's looking straight. Really happy about that. And that is a strong new post. Uh, we're gonna go way up there. We're gonna take a look at, see if this piece will fit in, if it can. Then we'll take and probably get that in, bring the air compressor in here and shoot those in. So this is working just right. Um, I'm gonna put adhesive in here. And then we need to definitely go out I need to shoot some nails in here. Um, so that'll stay in. And plus, I need to drive that section in there as well. Okay. So actually, I'm not going to put anything on that one because if I did, it may drive that in further. I think that's going to be just perfect where that's at. Um, We'll go ahead.
this in. I've gone and taped this out. I'm gonna come through here and run a beat o'clock. Well, this is gonna be it today. I've actually taken and made some little notes on here and have got this newel post is really nice. Uh, I think we probably got our, our stair problem taken care of. I'm gonna to have to come over here with steel wool or something uh, to take the gloss off of that, but um, we should be good there. I'll fill that in with some, some uh, putty colored putty and then we've got that taken care of. Need to do a little painting but uh, we'll do some uh, caulking up underneath that and then also on that end to kind of sand up. But I think we are looking really good. You can see it from this end. That's looking good. So really loving how it's coming out. Uh, that'll be it for for today, and we'll try to get back on the weekend to keep working on this.